Welcome to Cozy How To, your place for a snugly warm learning experience. This is lesson number four for the Equus Shopping Cart software. And in this lesson, I'm going to explain to you what a destination zone is and also what type of attributes that you would want to use with a destination zone. So let's go ahead and get started. In this video, I'm actually not going to open the Equus Shopping Cart panel, but instead I'm going to write on screen an explanation of what it is. So let's go ahead and start with that. What is a destination zone? Okay, so what is a destination zone? Well, the first part to a destination zone is defining the area or region. Okay, and the second part to a destination zone is defining the attribute. Okay, so first you want to define the area or region, and then you want to apply a given attribute. Okay, so let's start with the first part, defining an area or region. The biggest area that you can define is by a country. So that's the first and biggest example. And examples of countries could be the USA, it could be Brazil, it could be any country on the world map. Okay? The second biggest example would be by a state. And examples of states could be Michigan, it could be Texas, or any state that you want to list. And I really apologize if, you know, the handwriting isn't that great on screen. I'm not quite that good at writing with a drawing pad at this point, but I'm doing my best to make sure that this is legible. But again, this says Michigan and this says Texas for the state. Uh, the smallest example would be a zip code. Okay, and you can use individual zip codes to define a area or region on the world map. So the three examples of defining an area or region would be country being the biggest, a state being the second largest, or a zip code. And you could have as many countries or states or zip codes as you want in regards to defining a specific area or region. The second part of a destination zone is the attribute. And the first example would be a tax. So you want to ask yourself the question, how much tax do you want to charge based on a given area or region? And then the second question you want to ask is how much shipping do you want to charge based on an area or region? So first you define the area or region or multiple areas and regions, and then you apply a given tax or shipping rate or a combination of both. So that's basically what it means when you ask your question, what is a destination zone? It means defining the area or region and then applying a attribute such as tax or shipping, or you could apply both. So I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to embed, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for future tutorials from Cozy How To.